the acharas are only for our self satisfaction it will be very beautiful to look at the cow if she is decorated with flowers kumkum and turmeric powder on her head or by tying bells and putting garlands around her neck the cow is very helpful to us in many ways and tending the cow gives us psychological satisfaction similarly decorating the cow with garlands beads and tilaks gives us artistic satisfaction yet when we do puja of the cow we have to worship the cow in the hind portion close to the tail there is no answer to the question whether there is any reason for such a procedure or not without a proper reason because they had given us many rules of acharas the reason for which are becoming known to us today one by one our rishis have said that goddess lakshmi stays permanently in the hind part of the cow we have to obey the rules of the shastras and act according to them even if we don't get any psychological or other satisfaction more than anything the acharas of the shastras are stipulated for self satisfaction this alone is the eternal satisfaction and all other things will only end up with dissatisfaction we must cleanse our sins and earn punya if we have to be contented and satisfied always and we must be prepared to make some sacrifices sacrifices of psychological or artistic satisfactions even to attain this eternal self satisfaction it is wrong to criticize the shastras as being inhuman or lacking in sympathy or concern for the others we cannot blame the doctor in the hospital if he does not allow us inside the operation theater when someone near and dear to us is undergoing an operation our affection and love for the person or our intimacy to the person will not be considered here no one other than the doctor and the attendant shall be allowed inside the operation theater is a strict rule in all hospitals and it will not be violated at any cost we may have to wait outside the theater quite anxiously and restlessly counting upon every minute the doctor will not care either for our sufferings or anxiety we have to accept the doctor's words even if they are very severe and harsh considering the well-being of the body we have to respect him and we should not condemn him for implementing rules very strictly if we stay back from going into the operation theater it will mean that we are making a sacrifice of our psychological satisfaction similarly we have to accept and obey the strict achara rules given by our authors or makers of our shastras it is useless to question whether the people of other countries observe so many acharas do the foreigners keep their women aloof during their menses periods do the people in other countries observe strict procedures after delivery it will be meaningless to ask such questions the only answer to these questions lies in the fact that the foreigners themselves have accepted that their countries lag behind in spiritualism and atma gnana though they are advanced in other fields moreover there are less number of seers or atma gnanis in foreign countries than in our country if we wish to achieve nitya shreyas and atma gnana there will be no use in speaking about other countries or people or times we will attain siddhi only if we do according to our shastras moreover god has ordained our country bharata desha or bharata khanda as the karma bhumi in the whole prapancha we have separate places in a house or a factory for doing different things in a house we have the kitchen bedroom bathroom or toilet etc similarly in a factory we see separate blocks or buildings for administration the canteen restroom and housing the machinery etc 
we cannot sleep in the toilet or cook in the bedroom in the same way the administration of the factory cannot be carried out in the canteen building or workers restroom everything has to be done or carried out in the appropriate places either in a factory or in a house god has ordained our country the bharata varsha for doing karmas and hence so many karma anushthanas shastras and acharyas are prescribed for our people alone our ancestors and rishis who made the achara rules have given some harsh and strict rules only to ensure our lasting kshema or well being that is nitya saukya the shastras permit the pleasure of the world in as much as they are not a hindrance or block to achieving the joy of the other world there are prescribed many achara rules so that people will live happily and in unity and that they may be rid of all diseases they should not get involved into bad ways or doings these rules concern with the lives of the people here and in this world the rules of the shastras are not wholly harsh or strict as taught by others in fact they are considerate and show due lenience to people wherever necessary periyavasharanam